Hi, welcome for our online training sessions. Uh, there was one important question in the interview in the last last uh, Sunday. The question is, uh, when we are hiring an employees, can we capture the information, employee details, means employee name in another language? So we want to capture the employee name in another language. Where do we do that in case? And how it will be stored in the database? How we have to write the query? So generally, when we are hiring employees, we'll do it from here when we are going for a new person. Hire employee here. Let's say we are hiring an employee on 1st, 2021. This is the action and action reason. And this is our uh, legal employer name and personal details. Here we can find employee names, global name language, American English. So this is uh, by default uh, system takes employee name and global name, name type as global name here. Let's say John Smith. If, if the client is, says that I have the business across the world in different countries and I, want, I wanted to capture the local name for an employee also, click this checkbox. Here we can choose the uh, local name language, Arabic, religion or local, like regional, Italian, or different languages will find, Russian, this, okay. So here, whenever we capture this language data, it will be stored into the database tables. So there are uh, tables which contains the different language data support. We'll find that also, yeah. So if at all we don't want, then we can uncheck this checkbox here. So this is the place where we can go for capture, and then date of birth. Let me go for capture national identification details here. Oh, here we'll enter employment information here.
no submit. So what we have done, we hired an employee. While hiring an employee, we have entered the employee name as a global name. We have not entered any local name, means local language. Oh, uh, let's see the, let's check for employee number. So go to person management. This is our employee number, person number. This is the person number. Now we want to get this information from the back end and which table this employee name stores. In case if multi language means local language information is captured, how we can get the data. So whenever we want to check the data from the database tables, we have to go to reports and analytics, go to this uh, environment. Browse uh, catalog. Go to create data model. Here we will write SQL query. First, we have to find the person ID based on the person number. So we have to go for for all people. Where person number equal to whatever the person number we have that we have to get. Here primary key is person ID. Here. Primary key is person ID. Person ID is the primary key. And then we'll get person number also from this table. Person number. We can find the result here. This is person ID. And this is person number. We don't find person name in this table. In this table, we don't find person name. For all people left, we don't find person name. If we required person names, we need to join another table called per person names underscore F. Yep. Per person names underscore F yep. is the another table which we have to join. dot person id equal to person ID. So based on the person id we can get the name here we have full name first name last name all the details we can get it from this table here i can see but i'm getting duplicate records here duplicate records i'm getting so why we are getting duplicate records is whenever we try to capture the information from this table it's having the multi-language in the sense if you have entered the employee name in local language also 
we will find which column will find which language this is there is a another column called name underscore type name underscore type column will tell us whether it's a global name or a local name yeah here you can find so if we want to display the global name in the report output we have to choose name underscore type as uh, global we want to display the specific legislation like whatever the local name we have entered then we have to use this local name name underscore type equal to particular country will specify right now i am going to mention here dot name underscore type equal to so i wanted to show the global names in the output then we'll be able to find the output so this this query we have to explain so the question is so when we hire an employee in the front end if we want to capture the employee global names and local names both where do we do that that we have seen in the beginning of the session how this data will be stored in the database tables how we have to write the query which table stores the employee names how we can query that so you cannot go to per person names underscore f directly with person number we cannot go directly first we have to query with per all people f there we will find person id and once you take the person id based on the person id we can find cor corresponding person names from here it is person id is the primary key by using this we can get corresponding details over here it is okay Thank you.